To start off, I'm not going to address Cursed Rune versus Kazakh Row. I'm just going to assume that you're running Kazakh Row for the purposes of this video. The Dwarf Reds are kind of hard to get because Kazakh Row only has five chests. It's kind of up to you whether or not you want to run the loot die or not because you're probably not going to get a very good return on investment. You're probably better off trying to get sack rats and stuff. This is a public nightmare run. I chose this because there were a few common errors that my team made that I think would be good to highlight. Now the main path branches to the left and to the right. Notice the lights. Whichever entrance is well lit is the one you're going to want to take. Regardless of whether or not you go left or right, there will be one chest for you to get in a side room. This is the point at which the two paths converge into the main path. When you get here, you want to go on the left side first. The reason is because the left side requires more backtracking if you were to do it last. So I find that pubs tend to lag at this part. So if I'm feeling confident, I'll just go grab the first tome by myself and not wait for them. The disadvantage of that is as you can see in this instance, I'm running the loot die, but Kruber opened up the chest anyway. If you had a good team, you could definitely go for both of these at the same time and split into twos, but that's probably not a good idea for pubs. Regardless of which direction you go down, there is a patrol that can come. And if you're quick, you can move forward and skip past the patrol, but we're not quick enough. To the right here is where you would have hid from the patrol. The steam room is a, is a very linear part and I'm just going to skip it. At the end of this hallway, after the steam room, is the second chest. And then for the Grim, you can split into two by two. Usually I go for chest number three, and then I keep an eye on whoever's getting the Grim. Pubs tend to be pretty slow here, and you usually have to drag them over to tome three. Now we get to the confusing part in this level. There are two paths, a left and right, and each path has two sub paths that may or may not be open. So we went to the left, and then we went to the left sub path. If you're having trouble with this part, my advice is just to push forward as quickly as you can. Always keep looking forward. When you stop to fight a horde and you look behind and you look to the left, that's when you get turned around. So here you can see on my right is the other sub path. Also make sure you hold block whenever you open these doors because rats tend to stand right behind the door. Make sure you grab chest five before you head down. Now for this part, I always have an internal struggle as to whether or not I should carry the bomb or whether or not I should do damage. The usual strategy is to go right, middle, left from this direction. So you want to go the furthest one first and save the closest one for last. There is a way you can jump up and skip the closest one and you can hit it from below. But I've had difficulty really mastering that tactic and it's not a big deal to me on Nightmare especially. I find that when people do fail on the third one, I think it's mostly a result of attrition. They ran out of health packs, they have some people on really low health, and then a storm vermin comes and they just don't have the tools left to deal with it. Now usually you send two people down to do the bomb and two people to hold the entrance to the tunnel. We didn't communicate beforehand on this front and it really shows because people ended up going everywhere. Since there were no rats to clear out this time, I went ahead and grabbed the bomb, instead of moving to clear out the rats in the middle section. Now in this situation, rats can come in from in front of you and behind you, and I see teams fail at the mouth of this tunnel.
This can be a great place to use a bomb if a storm vermin comes up because you don't have a lot of room to maneuver to avoid the storm vermin and to group up the rats. Now I head to the end and you'll notice, you may have caught this earlier, I made a mistake. I didn't realize that the guy who carried the bomb to the first tunnel somehow missed. And this is why I tend to prefer to run the bombs myself because I know that I'll do it right. As always, these are just my opinions. I'm not the best player. I'm not saying that this is the only way that you can do this map. This is just a way that I found to be useful and efficient for me. 